Imagine you're running a marathon. You've trained hard, but as you hit the halfway mark, exhaustion sets in. Your legs ache, your breath comes ragged, and doubts creep in. Can I keep going? But then it happens. You stumble and you fall. And in that moment, the cheers and the crowd fade into the background, and all that matters right now is how you're going to respond in this moment. All that matters is what you're going to choose to do right now. And what I've learned is that life is a marathon. And we will encounter trials that test our endurance and setbacks that threaten to derail us. And so into this reality, the author James in chapter 1 verse 12 reminds us, blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. You know, I used to believe that the goal of the Christian life was perfection. I thought success was measured by flawless behavior and meeting unrealistic expectations, both past and future. But I've actually learned that the true goal of Christian life, according to the Bible, is Jesus himself. And when our focus is on him, we're freed from the anxieties of perfectionism because he is perfect and he invites us to share in his perfection his grace, it covers our imperfections, and His strength empowers us to live faithfully just one step at a time. Because this is the truth. Success is based on our closeness to Jesus in the present moment, whether we're running or falling. The closer we are to Him, the closer we are to the true goal. So when we get tired, and we will, we look to Him for strength. And when we stumble or fall, and we will, we ask Him to pick us up. And when we feel overwhelmed or lost, and we will, we reorient our life to Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Proverbs 24, verse 16 assures us, for though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. Listen to me. You cannot let past mistakes or a fear of a faulty future and their expectations define you. Instead, we need to live each day in the present, seeking to honor God through our obedience. Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14 urges us, forget what was behind and strain toward what is ahead. Press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called you heavenward in Christ Jesus. So come on, let's do this together. Let's refuse to be discouraged by setbacks or challenges. Let's embrace each day as an opportunity to trust God and walk in obedience. By focusing on living faithfully in the present, we discover that this is where God actually is guiding us, strengthening us, and leading us forward. We do not seek the cheers of the crowd or the expectations that we've placed on ourselves. Instead, we run to hear the words of our Creator. Well done, good and faithful servant. So let's just find Jesus wherever we are right now. And that is a stepping stone to being who God has called you to be.